Are you passionate about the written word? Are you curious about a wide range of topics? Are you organized and able to work well under pressure? If this sounds like you, it might be proof that you should consider a career as an editor. Editors help writers, publishers, and others prepare written text that is clear, accurate, appealing, and effective for publication or broadcast. To help us communicate this career more accurately, we talked to an editor working here in Alberta. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm an editor. So the different kinds of editors are book editors, newspaper editors, magazine editors, freelance editors, online editors, broadcast editors, and technical editors. An editor might work in book publishing, in a newspaper, for a magazine, for different companies and organizations who need editing on their product, their promotional materials, their website, anything that they produce. I've been very lucky to have worked in many aspects of journalism. I've been a sports editor and a news editor, a freelance editor. I've written for many different publications. I think what really sparked my interest in editing is really getting to the root of a problem. And so I like all of the digging that's required, all of the research, all of the interviews. Everyone you talk to has a story to tell and you can learn something new from each person. A day in the life of an editor is never really the same. It depends which publication you're working for. I would start my day with my to-do list and see what are the upcoming articles I need for the next publication. And then I'd reach out to my writers and assign each one. And in the meantime, it's planning the layout of the newspaper or the magazine. When articles and stories come back, the first thing I do is a quick read through. And that's just to make sure that the piece makes sense and to see if you know anything needs a, a change spelling. Then I wait a little bit and I read through it again to see if it's engaging and if it makes sense. And if any key questions haven't been answered, and if not, I will send it back to the writer and have them answer those questions and fill in the blanks. As an editor, you might be working a lot on your own, but you also have to know how to collaborate with a team and give guidance to your writers. A part of the job of being an editor is also doing layout of the magazine or newspaper. A lot of publications actually require you to be very detail-oriented and have a lot of background information in a particular subject. The work environment really depends. I've worked at a lot of different places as an editor and some were, were busy with different editors and writers sitting side by side, brainstorming and being creative together. And sometimes I work as a freelancer and so I'll be working at home. As an editor, you might be working a regular nine to five job in the office or you might be working irregular hours, sitting at home late at night thinking about new story ideas. It really just depends on the organization. To become an editor, you generally need a degree in journalism or communications. Not everyone has a degree. Some people have worked their way up by working in newspapers or magazines and they just have a natural flair for it. But it does help to get the training at college or university level. Some of the challenges of being an editor are you have to be very confident in who you are. You have to be able to give constructive criticism to your writers and encourage them when they need encouragement, but also let them know that I, I need more information on this. You know, I need you to do a rewrite of this. I want to, like, an expose on what it's like. Deadlines are very tight, and sometimes interviews don't come through, or a writing piece isn't quite what you expected it to be. So you have to be able to make adjustments as needed. To anyone who's interested in becoming an editor, I would say just get started where you are, you know, and just start practicing. Go through magazines and newspapers and mark them up and see, is this how I would have told this story? Also practice your writing. To be a good editor, you have to know how to write. Good editors are tactful, with the ability to provide effective critiques and think creatively. They have strong writing, decision-making, and leadership skills, and enjoy planning and coordinating the work of others. If all this copies your style, why not book yourself some time to read up on this fulfilling career? Get the exclusive and fact check this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the Alice website. While you're there, review some related occupations, including creative writer, critic, and instructional designer. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.